Okay, it is Monday, March 11th, 2019. Uh, U.S. stock market has officially closed. We're looking at the euro dollar one hour time frame. Uh, I haven't taken any trades here on the euro dollar. I haven't taken any trades on some of the other uh, uh, majors. Uh, just because of the tight range that I'm looking at here, obviously if I was to drill down to like a five minute, there might be some small little opportunities here. But this is going on and this is happening for a particular reason. And in a moment, I'm going to talk about uh, some of the possible strategies that I'm going to be looking for setups on the or to use with the uh, the pound dollar or maybe some pound crosses. So the next couple of days are going to be pretty interesting with the pound. And we talk about this <clears throat> quite a bit whenever we go through situations like this, where it's either a political event and there is no definitive outcome. So in other words, uh, let's say with a, a vote or an election very often, uh, and we did this a while back when we were trading through the uh, U.S. presidential election, when you're trading something that has or, or you're trading during conditions or an environment where the market is going to react to posts or comments or news or, uh, you know, certain writers and reporters are going to be even the television news, the financial stations, when they make their analysis or assessment or speculation the market sometimes will react to it and it's short lived because then somebody else will come out with another point of view or uh, for example, in a presidential election, that news isn't just once in the United States. It's many different states and it's the accumulation of all the votes and everybody's speculating on where it is as all of this is unfolding throughout the night, throughout these votes. So the, 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 chance or the possibility of price moving up and down or moving up maybe 40, 60 pips quickly and then turning around and dropping down 80 pips within minutes and wiping out all those gains, in certain conditions, certain situations like that, you stand a better chance of getting stuck in situations like that where the market reacts just a few minutes later. So today, I'm sure you watched it. I watched it. I was considering trading it. There was actually at one point we were looking at it thinking, is this sort of topping out here at the double zero level? And is it, I'll go ahead and go to the pound dollar. I'm sorry about that. This is the pound dollar. So at one point, it looked like it was reaching this resistance level right in here. This is also a major psychological level, the double zero. And it looked like it was finding some divergence and resistance uh, slowing down. It didn't look right, obviously, and I wait for specific candle patterns before I consider going short. And I was asked a couple of times, should we go short here? And I said, I'm going to wait a little bit longer. This just doesn't look right. I don't see the confirmation. Uh, I see the indicators, the divergence here in the indicators, but I need more confirmation. And we talked about this just last night and over the weekend that when I'm looking for reversals, I'm using a chart that looks very similar to this. This is the one hour time frame. This is the pound dollar. And I'm using these specific indicators right here. This is the Woody CCI right here, uh, the first indicator that you see underneath the price pane. And then the next indicator is the percent B and then bandwidth. These are the two indicators, percent B and bandwidth, that I will always use when I'm looking for or to identify reversals, to trade a bounce off of support or uh, a move back down off of resistance. I need to see divergence in the indicators and I need to see these indicators confirm that it really is a top or a bottom at that time. Now, uh, b uh, bandwidth is one of the other indicators that I use in addition to looking for the divergence to confirm that that move is probably that part of the move is done and then it's safe to take a trade. Now, I talked about trading it at specific locations like support and resistance. I'm not going to do it in the middle of a trending move when I see the indicators looking like this, because it doesn't usually stop. Usually there's going to be a point in time and it's usually a price level where price finds resistance or support. And again, here it was just temporary. So it didn't look right. We didn't sell it, even though it was tempting. And you can see the indicators were starting to line up, but bandwidth didn't confirm. So then afterwards, just a few minutes later, as we were talking about it, it shot straight up. And if you don't have an accurate paid for new service. Sometimes you have to wait until a lot of the Twitter feeds or the blogs and things like that upload whatever it is that they found out and you have to just trade off of that. Anyway, regardless, it was UK Brexit information, uh, reporters speculating on what they have heard or news. And again, going back to trading off of a, a uh, that type of news, trading off of that kind of data is very 
subjective and speculative. You can get stuck in these moves where a reporter said something or a politician said something and they posted it on the internet and it moves 20, 30, 40 pips, maybe even 50 pips, and then turns around and comes back down a few minutes later because then it's determined that it was just a false statement. I talk about this quite a bit. This this has happened in almost all major crises globally. It doesn't matter which country it is. More recently, and I talk about this quite a bit because it was a really interesting morning during the European crisis, the Greece crisis, back in 2015, I think, uh, early summer, we saw a situation just like that. They said that a, uh, a head politician, I believe, had made a comment that had a huge impact on the euro dollar. And within 10 minutes after it spiking to the upside, it immediately turned around and came right back down because then it was confirmed they tried to get a hold of this politician to ask him if he had, in fact, made that statement. He said he did not. And then everybody reversed their position. So these are sort of the events that cause movement like this, but in my opinion, are really, really risky to trade. Sometimes you're going to get lucky and you see price moving and you think, oh, I'm just going to take it. And you jump in and you feel good about it. Maybe you make 15, 20, 25 pips, 17 pips, and you feel good about it. But that's not a strategy that you can repeat over and over again. I would be very, very careful with that kind of behavior. I did it. I did it whenever I saw price moving. Sometimes long before, back in 2001, when I saw price moving and I wasn't, I understood what the news was, but I wasn't as in tune with the news and certain individuals to follow to get access to real-time news. I would just chase price. And sometimes when I got lucky and price would just spike up for whatever reason, I would close my trades with 20, 25 points, 17 points, making decent money if I'm trading standard lots. But then realizing afterwards, I better be really careful because I don't have a strategy to repeat that. And it's just a matter of time before I do something like that and then it reverses and comes back down the opposite direction because I'm trading off of rumors. I'm trading off of speculation that isn't confirmed, isn't validated, and the rest of the market's going to be really jumpy anyway when they see that kind of stuff. When it's confirmed that it was false, it's going to reverse quickly. That's what we saw in every major crisis, we see it a couple of times here in the uh, pound over the last couple of years. So it's not unlikely to see it happen again. So again, when I see movement like this, and it's that some reporter said something that they heard from somebody else, as much as I want to trade it, as much as I want to make the money just like everybody else, that is risky. That's not a good trading strategy. It's just a matter of time before you get on the opposite side of something like that and it reverses and you lose money fast. I did it, everybody else does it, and I'm not interested in doing it again. So here, I'm still waiting for signs of resistance and that it's slowing down here. Uh, I wanna confirm this with real news that I can identify is, is, again, solidified, it's confirmed, and then I see the technicals. That's what I'm waiting for. So I kept getting the question, when are we going to trade the pound dollar? When are we going to trade the pound dollar? And again, I, I'm not going to trade it if it just if it's all off of speculation and comments and rumors. And uh, again, sometimes you're going to get lucky and it'll work, but I just won't do it. So again, I'm waiting for and looking for an opportunity here. If it holds around these resistance levels here, uh, or makes even another spike high. Another move with more comments, that's fine. I'll wait. It's going to settle. And then eventually, we're going to get those uh, votes and we're going to get those um, these events over the next couple of days that are sort of in the books. Now, obviously, Brexit isn't going to be over with just because of the next couple of days. We always go through this. We go through this just about a couple of times every month where everybody starts talking about, you know, Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday, whatever day it's going to be is a big day. And that will help settle something. But it just it's just ongoing. It's going to keep going. But that would be more solidified once I have that news. I know what she said. I know how they reacted. And it's not a reporter speculating on somebody who said something that's that's what for the most part caused a lot of this movement here again initially it wasn't we didn't have a whole lot of confirmation um, once we have confirmation that that person actually said it regardless of what reporter uh, reports that piece of news uh, once I have confirmation then I'm much more comfortable in trading it because I know I'm going to be trading with the rest of the market here again 
Uh, I'm afraid of these moves, to be totally honest. You can lose a lot of money quickly, and things can turn around. If, if we get negative news here out of the UK and the decision over the next couple of days, this thing can drop 2 to 4%. It's expected in just a matter of a few minutes. And, and there's no set date. Uh, I'm sorry, there's no set time for these reports to come out over the next day uh, or two. It is just going to be, for the most part, in the evening, UK time. That's probably 2, 3, 4 o'clock New York time. No one has a precise moment that that news is going to be released. So to get in and try guessing, uh, I guess that's what some people do. They place their bets. But I want to trade the reaction. I want to trade the reaction. I want to trade confirmation. I want to know that I'm trading with the rest of the market. And I'm going to make a lot more money that way. It's just a matter of waiting for it. That's all I'm doing here is just waiting for it. Now compare the pound dollar to the euro dollar, how it's just moving sideways. There just really isn't much of an opportunity here for me to trade this. I'm not going to get into this and just hold for seven or eight pips, nine pips, and then watch it just continue to go sideways. I don't do that, and I wait for a reaction, whether it spikes up or down, and then gives me that reversal. I'll be looking for that. I just don't know when it's going to happen here. Uh, the same thing here with the uh, uh, with the dollar yen. For the most part, since that high this week, it's just more or less moving sideways over the last few hours. There's a little bit of movement here. But if I'm going to short it, I want to know that it's going to move to some of these targets that I would normally trade to, and it's just not covering the distance. There's just not enough momentum right here, and I'm just waiting for it. But what it's doing at this point, and this is part of what I do when I am waiting, I'm waiting for price to settle and form a high or a low, something that I can confirm, find out why it's moving sideways, look at volume levels, Japanese yen futures, things like that. This is the dollar yen, and then box in and zero in on this uh, consolidation range. Last week's spike low, this week's high. Make sure that it's an appropriate distance. Now I'm starting to set up my charts for a possible breakout, that continuation breakout trade. I would switch my charts to a different chart with the uh, different indicators. I showed you the indicators yesterday and over the weekend that I use for the breakout. And when a one hour candle closes outside of a confirmed consolidation range, it might lead to the trending, the uh, continuation breakout trade, the trend that uh, continues in the direction of the breakout. And it will pay 55 pips if it's a good, clean continuation breakout trade. I also am prepared for the fact that over the next few hours, if it doesn't break out of this range, it might spike up a little bit. And then I'll just simply make my adjustment to that high until it's confirmed. And then again, wait for that one hour candle to break out with these indicators confirming and I've got myself a continuation breakout trade. And very often that's going to happen with the news. So it's just a matter of waiting for it. Right now it's just too flat, too sideways for me. Sometimes Mondays are, are just like this. Sometimes they work this way. But again, going back to the pound dollar, uh, I'm comfortable in saying I'm afraid of trading things just like this. Because I've traded it before in the past with speculation and rumors. And I've been burned hard. Uh, so have a lot of other traders. And when you do that, you're looking for ways of trying to avoid you know, the possibility of losing money. I'm just going to be looking for opportunities to just make money. We're going to get plenty of chances to trade the pound dollar. It's just a matter of waiting for it and that confirmation.